Look at this. That back was clearly part of a game plan. Looking at it here. There's the pin. It's over. It's all over. Here is your winner, the queen, Maggie Murray. Well, that one was over before it even started. That may have been one of the most dominant performances I've seen in a very long time. It'll be interesting to see the fallout following. You know, I heard a story um, about this <clears throat> about this girl, you know, she worked at Hooters. And, you know, she walked by this lady one day and and this lady told her, you know, where you work at and and she told me she worked at Hooters and that's what she told her. And the lady responded, um, well why are you working at Hooters? And she just said she just really needed a job at the time and you know she's just working there until she can find something better. And the lady said, well you shouldn't be working there because God is not pleased with you working there because all those guys are looking at you. They're not there for the women and uh, they're not there for the food. They're always there just to look at women in a sexual way or a disrespectful way or just pretty much have their way with them only thinking about one thing. And you know, that's how they responded and she responded, God's not pleased with you. The moral of that story is, is that we really don't know people's stories. We really don't even try to get to know other people's stories. We try to always assume, we always jump to conclusions, we always jump to assumption that this person is downright no good in their life and they work at a place not even thinking for one thought that maybe is the reason why they are trying to work there. Maybe they're trying to get money so they can pay their way through school or try to help uh, their families, try to provide for their family, try to provide for the children, try to provide for their daughters, their, their, their sons. Uh, maybe just try to get somewhere in their life to where they won't have to work in that place they're in because you don't really know somebody else's story. And a lot of us just judge. We jump to conclusions. We judge people thinking, oh, well, they just downright no good. They just downright dirty. They're just downright uh, ridiculous. They're downright uh, whores and, and videos or whatever, whatever the case may be. And you know, you see people doing uh, twerking videos or whatnot or yada 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 the list goes on and on about the stuff but you know we are so quick to judge and you know I went to a church one time and and this pregnant girl came in you know she was pregnant and she is having a son and uh, they and she walks in there and all the church people look at us just, just looks at us just mm, mm, mm. And that's the reaction that they give you. They give you that dirty look because they know, because they just assume that they sinned or they assume that they are bringing a child born out of wedlock or they're just quick to judge like this person is sleeping around with different guys. There are so many assumptions that people come up with is just downright ridiculous. And we are not supposed to judge, we are not supposed to jump to assumptions, we are supposed to be there for people and we don't know their story. You know, we don't really know. Maybe that person is has that job, maybe they're doing something to try to make their way to get through classes because the tuition is ridiculous and I can completely understand that. School money is really what drains you if you're going to college. Your, the money will drain you paying for books and stuff because not everybody is blessed to have a full ride. So honestly, I really feel like we should get to know people 
and before well before we judge them. We should get to know people before we judge them. And you know, a lot of people we jump to conclusion like this person is ugly, this person is 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 too fat, too skinny, all that other stuff. And yet we just continue to judge, you know, back and forth we continue to judge and we don't know the story. You know, this person can be beautiful in their own way and you just call them ugly, they ain't no good, but they can be the nicest person in the world. And you know, you be mean to somebody and you just say, well, I don't like her because, you know, she's too fat or I don't like her because she's too bougie, too proper, too, uh, too into themselves, you know, stuff like that. But if you don't know that person's story, how can you ever assume that they are too much of something and you just assume that so you just don't talk to them so you throw shade and you always judge them, you always pretty much put them in a position to, to feel bad about themselves, always trying to down them like you are above them. That is not the way we should go. The Bible says we are fearfully and wonderfully made. And it says do not judge. We cannot judge a book by its cover. You know, so honestly, I really feel like we should get to know each other instead of trying to judge them and we don't even know the story at all. I feel like if we keep pushing and we keep trying to help people, keep trying to help and save their souls, keep trying to help people grow and try to help people be better, then I really feel like once we get to know them, I feel like we can actually better themselves and try to help them get into better positions because nobody in this world is helping anybody anymore. And so I really feel like you need to check yourself before you judge anybody else. And you need to check your background instead of wanting to judge somebody else's story because your story is not pretty either. We are all running the same race, so why are you trying to trip somebody up when they run the same race of, race of life that you are, are running? So that's pretty much my message for the day. I really feel like if you keep pushing and we keep trying to know, trying to get to know people and try to help them grow, I feel like we should be better as people. And get to know people's stories, man. Get to know people's stories before you want to go to assumption. Because everybody is not what they seem. That's why I say don't judge a book by its color. Alright? I'm Joshua Peterson. And I'm out.